Hey guys, what's up? I just wanted to share this small piece of diagnostic information with you today uh, for crews that is not working. Uh, the most common issue is the actual deactivator switch, which is a secondary um, redundant pressure switch. This one's an actual pressure switch, and the other one's the, the actual uh, brake lamp switch. This is a secondary backup and it compares the two and if one's off it won't allow it to even turn on or if it's on and one's off it'll actually shut it off more common it won't come on at all so this is what it looks like Get some focus going on here there we go this is what it looks like and it could be black connector or gray but this is the way the new ones look like on this one it's a, a Ford Super Duty that is, um, they're all pointing down on the Super Duties, but this is an 08 F250, and you can see it's right down there in the front. You should be able to see it. You can see it right there. That's a new one that's on there already. And uh, what it is is that it, it fails open when it should be naturally closed. Now this one I got a fancy little uh, connector on to test it. It's really hard to test it if you don't have this harness because they are upside down. But as you can see, we got continuity. And then we hit the brake pedal, it'll go open, full open. So that's the way to test it. And I'll show you that. So when the brake pedal is not applied, there should be continuity at all times. And then when you hit the brake, Be open, open circuit. Let off, continuity, and so forth. And that's what it's looking for. So the reason it never goes on is because it's naturally in a closed state. And they fail open from the last time you apply pressure to the brakes. I would say 90% of the time it's this deactivator switch. The older F-150s and Windstars use the same thing, but um, they were a different looking design and connector, but it's still mounted on the master cylinder. It's the only thing mounted on the master cylinder that has an electrical connector. So, look for it, and then uh, same thing, there's only two terminals, and test it for continuity like I showed and then more than likely you're going to need to replace it when you replace it it's a 7 8 and just unscrew the old one and then screw the new one in there's no bleeding of the master cylinder required there's no uh, tape teflon tape or sealant required on the threads and just snug it up don't tighten it too much because it will crack the master cylinder but it's a cheap part and you can get your cruise control back. I hope this helps.